I show you how to make this no-sew burlap fall leaf table runner next. To make this fall leaf burlap table runner, you're going to need some burlap, some Mod Podge, a Sharpie marker, a foam brush. You're going to need a leaf template, and all I did was go to Google Images, search for leaf templates, and trace it right off my computer screen. And this is about 5 inches wide and 10 inches long. You'll also need some scissors, a chunk of sponge for painting, as well as assorted acrylic paints in fall colors. Today I'll be using Barn Red, Golden Sunset, Spiced Carrot, Antique Parchment, and Marsh Green. Let's get started! The first step you're going to want to do is to take your burlap and your leaf template and carefully trace around it with your Sharpie. You want to be really careful down around the stem to make sure that your burlap isn't moving too much. Now this does do a number on the point of your Sharpie, so I suggest using an older one. And there you have it. Next, you're going to want to get a piece of freezer paper or parchment paper, or if you have a silicone mat, just something with a nonstick surface. You're going to put your burlap on there, and then get your Mod Podge. So then just take your foam brush, and I poured a little bit of Mod Podge in this cup here, and you just want to pounce along your marker line and do about a half inch outside the line and a half inch inside the line. If you get any big gloves like that, just brush it out. When you've gone all the way around your burlap, set it aside to dry. After your decoupage is completely dry, you then want to peel your leaf up off the paper if it's stuck on your paper. You then want to take your scissors and cut out your leaf right along the line. And you should have something that looks like this. Because we put decoupage around the outside of the leaf, that keeps the edges from fraying, yet keeps the inside still soft and pliable. The next step we're going to do is paint the leaf. On this plastic plate, I have a little bit of all five of my colors. You want to take your piece of sponge, and the way I load it is I'll start with one corner, and I'll put it in one color. Then I take a different corner, and put it in the other color. Now for the green, just take your thumb or finger and put a little bit in the middle here. And your sponge should look something like this. Now you just want to go around the outside of your leaf in a pouncing motion. And as you can see right here, it got a little muddy. So you can just load up your sponge again and do it again. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now you want to set this aside and let this dry. When the paint on your leaf has dried, it should look something like this. I ended up doing five leaves. I did three in the neutral burlap color and two in this dark brown color. I used the exact same paint combination except on the darker browns I left out the green. 
just so it looks like it was further along in decomposition. Our next step we're going to want to do is lay these out how we want to glue them. And I know I want this 36 inches long and about 6 inches wide. Our next step is to take some hot glue and I like to just start at the stem, put a bead of glue and press it down and do that along the whole top. When that's dry, you want to flip it around and glue any loose pieces down. Now let's go see how this looks like on the table. And here's what it looks like on our pie safe. This burlap fall table runner will surely brighten up any fall decor. If you like my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.